Hey, welcome back. This is Watertown 365. It is December 10th. We have information about the start of a little bookstore in Watertown. There is a WPBS holiday gift auction. There is a reduction of bus service in Watertown. There is a comic convention coming and so much more. So this is one of those weeks or maybe in one of those months where no news is good news and there's a lot of kind of boring, dull news stories. But wouldn't you rather have the small town, easygoing stories as opposed to we're all going to die? Well, I know what my answer is. So first up, there is a new Watertown bookstore. Now, do you know about the little bookstore in Clayton? Well, let me tell you about this little bookstore. So there's already one over in Clayton, which you can find at littlebookstoreclayton.com. And uh, I mean, check, check out some photos. This is a cute little place to go to. And as you probably know, sometimes uh, just the I mean, look at that little place. Sometimes the uh, the atmosphere, the location, the environment in itself is a cool place. Bookstores are always a fun place to go to. They're a little classier than public libraries, uh, and it's a it's a cool place just to uh, you know check out the check out the surroundings and check out the location. So there already is one in Clayton, but there is a new one opening in Watertown. So you don't have to go all the way to Clayton. It they did a grand opening. Uh, on Sunday, there were holiday themed books, a band played, Santa Claus showed up, and the location for the place in Watertown is not even in the news story. So let's find that address. I mean, here we go. 1314 Washington Street, I believe, would be the place to go. Uh, like, where's the dang address? Yeah. Okay, so I'm assuming 1314 Washington Street is where the new little bookstore, there's one in Clayton, but now there's one in Watertown as well. There is a PBS holiday gift auction. There's not a lot of information just yet. Uh, so there's a phone number, there's a website. The bidding ends Sunday, December 12th. But as far as what's there, it's at wpbs.org slash auction. And maybe you have to register. Maybe that's the deal. Let me try this. I'll register with my phone number. Can I do that? No, it keeps on entering. Okay. Uh, let me fill in this form. Let me. Jeez, they make you just fill in so much stuff, don't they? Um, so you fill in this form, and then I need to use my phone, uh, enter your password, continue, okay, aha, so we log in, see, this is the kind of service we provide, we, log we register an account for you, so you don't even have to log in to see what there is to bid on, so right now there are, uh, there's four tickets to a classic car museum, $40, uh, poster from the Thousand Islands Art Center. We are looking at uh, art museum tickets, oak buffet with mirror, framed prints, note cards, painting. So it looks like 80% paintings, okay? And then the rest are like gift certificates, things like that. Bottles of wine, $41. Um, gift certificates 10 pounds of beef 70 dollars so this is interesting right just these are the sorts of things that uh that, that there's bidding for japanese steakhouse gift certificate uh so yeah this is interesting right the kind of selection that there is available at wpbs.org slash auction so good to know that there are these items to be bidded on jewelry Little bear toys, wall posters, Christmas tree ornaments. Okay, so that is what the fuss is all about with this WPBS TV holiday gift auction giveaway expiring Sunday, December 12th. If you are an auction type of person, that is the place to go. You can do it online because that is how things are done these days. Next up, the bus driver shortage has reduced service in Watertown. There's a reduced uh, bus service 
uh, due to a shortage of drivers. So hey, that's good news. If you are someone who could drive or wants to drive or uh, if that is that thing that, that excites you, guess what? There are job openings for you. But in the meantime, there is the shortage reduction in service, which began on Tuesday, which means that the Monday to Friday fixed routes uh, will go from 8.20 to 5 p.m. No change to the Saturday schedule and the four route bus system will now end at 6.15 p.m. And here's what happened is that one of the drivers, here, here's how, how, um, uh, how crazily things can collapse on us. One driver tested positive for COVID-19 and now that means just one, one less driver, now they have to change the whole schedule. The public transit system has had a difficult time hiring new drivers. They currently employ four full-time drivers and they have a new part-time driver coming out soon. But they're not too worried because these route cuts are temporary and once the driver is no longer quarantined or the, the disease has run its course, now it is time to be back in business. It is temporary. Uh, and a handful of riders frequently attend city council meetings to complain about that bus service. So here is what you can do. is You can go to watertown-ny.gov and you can find, check out these bus route schedules because in this day and age of things always changing, this is how you can check the schedule and this is how you can see uh, what routes they are taking away and how you can still get to your destination on time if you yourself are a bus rider. So good to know. Next up, what is also good to know is this second annual North Country Comic Convention. And it will be held at the Watertown Municipal Arena. Let's pull up the news story for this. Here is what is happening. Next summer, the streets of Watertown are likely to see scores of superheroes, sci-fi characters, and figures from fairy tales. The city's regional Comic Con, which has been renamed the North Country Comic Convention, or NocoCon. See, this way we avoid the trademark infringement problems. You can't say Comic-Con because that's trademark. Now it's NocoCon. They have their second annual gathering coming up of gamers, cosplayers, and fans of all things fantastical. Now, are you ready to mark your calendars? June 11th and 12th, 2022, Watertown Municipal Arena. They plan to feature crafters, artists, live gaming, interactive entertainment, art show competitions for illustrators and photographers, cosplay contests for kids and adults. Here is how far ahead they are planning. Um, they will be opening at 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And once again, that is June 11th and 12th, 2022. It'll come sooner than you think, six months away, maybe seven months away. Um, and the tickets will go on sale in March there are pre-sale options, and here's what you do, is you go to twitter.com slash nococon. Well, there's not much there right now. Okay. And the website is noco-con.com. Okay, at least there's that set up. So noco-con.com, uh, because they can't call it Comic-Con, so it's a comic convention. And uh, so yeah, this is the website to go to, and maybe in the coming months, they will update it with more guests than just one person. And maybe they will update it with the costumes and the vendors and the sponsors and the tickets. So if someone in your uh, circle of friends or your extended family is talking about NocoCon, now you can say you know what the heck they are talking about because it is the, not Comic-Con, but Comic Convention in the North Country. So let's talk about uh, a, a few scary things. Jefferson County declares a state of emergency and they are issuing a mask requirement. Let's pull this up and find out together what this is all about. Jefferson County is declaring a state of emergency to save a healthcare system that's on the brink. The legislature chair, Scott Grace, said that this declaration is everything but calling a mask mandate. They are requiring all residents and vendors to wear face coverings when in public, 
such as indoor settings, work, shopping, attending indoor events. Uh, there w but here's the thing, is that they will not be doing any punitive measures if you don't abide by the rule because that's always been the problem is what if I don't want to wear a mask? Will you arrest me? Well, no, but can you just please do it anyway? Uh, at the current trajectory, the way that the case has been going up, there's no hotline, there's no email. Uh, what is happening is that 77 per 1,000 residents uh, have been getting these COVID-19 cases and that means that this could lead to 120 cases. And all those cases mean people in hospitals, people in beds, spreading it to others. It's a scary situation. And uh, so what happened is during this conference that we're viewing right now and what's happening is they urged people to get vaccinated or get a booster shot. And this state of emergency, which it's not a mask mandate, it's just a state of emergency, this will last for 30 days through the holiday surge through January 7th, but if things don't get better, it can be extended. So their message is just get vaccinated, get a booster shot, wear a mask, social distance, try not to be indoors, all the usual platitudes, all the usual advice, state of emergency, that is what is happening. And let's switch gears and talk about McAvoy Insurance. McAvoy has served Jefferson County for more than 50 years. Local family owned insurance brokers for all your home, auto, and business needs. They are at McAvoyInsurance.com. They are an independent insurance, which means they can shop the best coverage for the best price to meet your specific needs. That is McAvoyInsurance.com. You find their website, 315 782 3900. And the email address is dbuskey at McAvoyInsurance.com. And shoot, shoot them an email and say, hey, here's my in current insurance situation. Here's my home and auto. Can you give me a better deal? Or if you don't have the insurance that you need, figure out if they can give you a solution that meets your needs. And you always hear about this, right? You always hear about the big banks and the big insurance companies. They don't need your business, but they, the more small town credit unions or the small town insurance companies, they can perhaps give you a better deal if you uh, can uh, contact them directly because they are smaller and they are willing to work harder for you to land your business. Just a, a general life advice to think about. And speaking of life advice, do you have junk in your house or do you need a place to store a few things? Well, go on over to storagemadeeasy.com. They're located up in Evans Mills. Whether you're looking for a self-storage unit to store your valuable personal belongings or managing logistics for your business. Chances are pretty good that you want to avoid dealing with unexpected hassles and surprises, long wait times, poor or offensive customer service. Now these are just a few of the things you need to be concerned about. Storage Made Easy is your complete resource for home or business self-storage near Watertown, New York. And thank you personally for watching our show. We are at watertown365.com where on the website there is the men's basketball scores, information about the Taekwondo Academy that not only teaches martial arts but also how to help out the community. There is a new management post at the Firetown Water or the Firetown Fire Department. Sorry, I think water and fire. I almost said Firetown Water Department. No, it's the Watertown Fire Department. There is a scavenger hunt and pub crawl next week. Don't want to miss that. Go to watertown365.com. You too can help Santa for seniors. There is a Christmas Carol the Musical. I can't believe we missed talking about that, but that is all available on Watertown 365. And you personally, I'm talking directly to you, you can go to the Watertown 365 Facebook page. Where Did you, did you know this? The shopping mall in New York right here, the one in uh, Destiny, USA, and Syracuse, has its own zip code. That is how huge that is. And you can find out all that and more at the Watertown 365 Facebook page. That is facebook.com slash Watertown365. You can find out about the Grinch Brunch Fest at 545 Arsenal Street on Sunday. There is information about the Sackets Harbor Fire Company where they collected a donation. 
There is information on the Facebook page about National Logger Day saying Happy Hanukkah and so much more. So many news stories. The festival in New York that is straight out of a Hallmark Christmas movie. You don't want to miss this. Go to Facebook.com slash Watertown365, Watertown365.com. And thank you personally for tuning in to today's podcast episode where, like we said at the beginning, the promise was some easy news. There's not, the world is ending, there's just some small town things happening, and we look forward to giving you more small town news in the coming weeks, the rest of the year, 2022, and then on at watertown365.com. We will see you there. Thanks for tuning in, and bye for now.